this video is going to be a short introduction on how to get started using portals in Dynamics 365. So currently I'm in the admin centre for my free trial. So you can see that this is quite a familiar screen in regards to your instances. So if this was a production environment where you've got um, sandboxes and so on, you'll be able to see them all here. Um, so let me go over to applications. And this was previously where you would install like project service, field services and so on. And um, that will kind of be mi migrated to the app store now. Um, so within the applications, and um, it is probably worth noting that this is at the current point in time, which is December 2016, this may change on how you configure your portal um, in Dynamics 365. But if you just go to the portal add-on and click manage, you'll then, be get, you'll then get asked to kind of fill in lots of details in regards to what you want your, let's just put serum cat, and let's put serum cat again. And we want to attach to this one. Oh, okay, interesting. So it's just validating the instance of CRM that's connecting to. And English, fantastic. And great. So we've got the administrator, because there's no one else on here. Um, so in terms of the audience who I want this person, who I want to use the portal, let's just say it's a customer, and let in regards to the portal to be, to be deployed. So can you see that this is dynamic based on the audience? And we're just going to go with customer self service and do submit. Read the T's and C's, and then once you're happy, click accept. Okay, so once you've left um, left the system add in whatever it needs to add in regards to the portal solution and, and all the other extensions. Um, you may actually refresh and find that your actual uh, portal application has, has been updated to enabled, you can manage it, um, and then what will happen is you'll actually get to the point of it giving you just this little update basically saying we're just installing stuff. Um, and you can actually just click the link that it does give you um, and it'll actually reroute you back to the, um, to the solution page. Um, and you can see here that for me, this is currently the bit that's just taken the longest in regards to it's actually, so it, what it's done is it's done all the kind of um, the actual website space. Um, now it's just installing uh, the actual portal that I specifically selected um, at time of setup. So um, once that's done, then hopefully I can then go in um, and get started. Okay, so once everything's set up, you can go back to your applications, click manage, and it'll actually open the portal admin area. So you can do lots of things here like restart, um, update your ur URLs and so on. Um, what you're actually interested in is the actual portal details. If you save them from where you set it up earlier then, then you'll already have them. But this will actually load the um, uh, the URLs and, and so on for your actual portal site. So click that, you'll get all those details there. So these are my portal details. So you can see here that this is my URL here. I'm going to open it up in a new tab. Um, and you can change the name um, and uh, not really much else to be honest um, you can actually turn it off um, if you obviously want to provision more portals and so on you can do that through the admin area um, and purchasing more more kind of portal um, spaces um, but you can see here that just from installing a solution I've actually just got a, a, a pop-up portal basically um, I've actually um, can, can go and create a case um, I'm actually logged in as well. I've actually registered um, on the site. So if I actually open up um, my Dynamics 365 environment, we'll actually notice some of the changes that this has actually done. So in one of the previous steps, you'll have noticed that I mentioned about installing a solution. You might be kind of thinking, well, what solution? I just kind of want to provision a portal. Um, it doesn't just make your portal and, and essentially upload all the portal amazing things in, in there, in that space. It actually in installs your portal solution and also in certain scenarios your community tab here as well so um, when, when someone registers um, you've also got extra details actually um, for the contact area so this was the person that I registered against now I didn't I actually didn't update any of my other details which is why it doesn't show here but if I just scroll down you can see here that this is the actual portal contact form the actual out of the box contact entity gets changed and this web authentication actually gets um, gets actually added as well so it gives you the ability to 
then actually manage users um, and and all that kind of stuff as well so and um, it gives you all that mechanism but obviously you, you've got all this stuff to kind of play around with and change and um, because this is literally a portal that gives me as an end user the ability um, to be able to open a, open a case look at knowledge base all whilst uh, connected to CRM and I don't have to worry about any of that and I can actually manage it through my dynamic CRM environment itself so that's pretty much setting up portals and um, it was only meant to be kind of the the kind of how to link everything together and I'm sure there'll be other videos or blog posts on actually how to use portals so um, yeah I hope it's been useful <laughs>